everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I sat down thinking I'll write a blog post about my one of my favourite subjects at the moment and that is the Morphe brushes. And I was sat there tapping away and I thought this is taking ages because I've got so much to say about them. And I thought it'll be so much more quicker if I just sat in front of the camera and then just went one after the other and told you how much uh, I love these brushes. So let's get straight into it. The first brush is the Morphe 439 brush. Now this is a deluxe buffer. So it's really, really dense at the top here. And it's so soft, it's lovely. And you can, I'm a bit of a cheat sometimes with the, the old foundation, a bit lazy, I don't like it all over my hands. So I squeeze it right on top and then just buff away and off we go and we're done. And this is a really good brush because it's quite fanned at the same time a little bit, it's squishy. It like kind of squishes into the skin and then off it goes all around. So it's a really great foundation brush. That is predominantly what I use it for is really just foundation. Um, but it really does buff the foundation into the skin. The only one uh, foundation that I found that it struggled to do it, and most brushes, um, I think, struggle to buff this particular foundation is, is in the NARS Sheer Glow. And that texture of foundation is quite um, difficult. I mean, Francoise NARS actually says that you should use your fingers to blend and use the warmth of your fingertips to mold with the product and to actually um, help that to settle into the skin but I don't find that works either for me and um, the beauty blender is the only thing that will work with that so that's the only thing I found this brush struggled with but a lot of brushes struggle I personally think with that foundation as well but a really good foundation brush The second brush is the Morphe 438 Pointed Contour Brush. Now this one, I'm um, apparently meant to use to kind of go into your contour, and it does, can you see? It does create a really good line where the point goes, and you, you get that sev really severe kind of contour, that's what you're looking for. I'm not down with that at the moment, I'm not, I'm not into the severe chisel cheeks at the moment just a little phase that I'm going through. I'm, I'm more into the kind of um, flush of a, a lovely kind of bronzer around the skin, that kind of lovely summer glow, and I'm really going for that at the moment. So that, I don't actually use this for my contour. What I do use it for, because it is has it as a tip on the end, is I actually use it to um, set my under eye, because it fits really nicely right into the corner of the eye and I use that there and I go along and I just oh, I might have a little go now while I'm here and just set the under eye it's perfect for that you know over the chin or on the nose and because it's pointed it gets into those little like kind of crevices that you want it to help set the foundation so it's a really brilliant little brush and I really like that and um, I take that with me wherever I go just to touch up wherever I need. So it's a, it's a great brush. The M501. Uh, now this one is the other pro pointed contour brush. As you can see if I hold it up closely, not so pointed as the other one. A lot more fluffy um, and you can pull it about and it actually starts to separate a bit. This is the only brush out of the collection that I got that I was disappointed with. When I first bought it, it was very pointed and then as I washed it, it kind of went like this and I washed my brushes, you know, with really good stuff so it just kind of, it could just be a faulty batch or what it is. But, so instead of using it once again for the contour, I get my old little highlighter out and I just use it just to brush along the highlighted parts like that and it kind of disperses the powder in a, a nice effective way without making it like a dense like whack of colour just there it kind of gives that soft effect so not my favourite one um, if I was going to purchase again I wouldn't buy it again 
So you make your choice of what you think's best. The next brush I'm gonna be looking at is the Morphe 441 brush. Now, this brush is the Firming Blending Crease. Bit of a mouthful. Um, is it firm? No. Is it blending? Yes. And it does go in the crease. <laughs> so it does do those last two things. When I first got this brush, it was very scratchy. It wasn't soft at all. And when you're there, like I use this for my transitional colors and I'm trying to buff out those harsh edges, it was a little bit like, ah, painful. Um, but once I washed and then conditioned the brush, it came up like a tree. And uh, it really does, it's lovely and soft now. And it's a lovely fluffy brush. So you can really blend out those harsh edges. So it's a great brush. My next brush is the Morphe M433. Now this is the, uh, is it a blending, I mean, what's it called, a, a Pro Firm Blending Fluff. <laughs> really? Why would you call it a fluff? Anyway, it is an exact replica, dupe, whatever you want to call it, for the MAC 217. Exactly the same exactly the same i don't think there's any difference it's beautiful it's soft it's fluffy it does the job you know it gets it really blends out those harsh harsh edges really well i love it it's great it's a really great brush the next brush is the morphe 432 and this is a flat liner brush it's really nice. It's really fine. Now I got the um, crown brush flat line definer and it was quite thick, but this one is thin just like the Max flat liner definer. And that is exactly the same. It's beautifully and soft. It really gives you that lovely kind of precision that you need. I use it, I dip it into um, a makeup remover, micellar water, bioderm or whatever you use. And I use that just to kind of clean up the wing, you know, under my eyes. And it's a brilliant precision on there. It's lovely. So it's a really great brush. Definitely recommend purchasing that. It's exactly the same as the MAC Fat Liner Definer. The next one is the Morphe E18 Round Crease. I knew I was saying the right thing. I've got on the screen here, I've got like what the actual words are, what they're called, but I knew it was right. This is like a little dome on top here. And at first I was kind of like, mm, why, why would you want to get that right into your orbital bone there? Um, and use that to add a denser cut crease, really. Um, yeah, it's brill. It's brill for that. Um, but what I actually use it for is when I'm doing like a, a grungy eye, a more of a kind of halo eye, where I want to take the lower lash line color quite low down, but well, actually not that low, that look like dark circles. Um, but if I want to take it low, lower down, then this is really good for that because it's really beautiful for blending out and giving that lovely soft focus finish. So it's a really nice brush. I don't use it actually what it's probably intended for, um, but then I'm like that with all brushes. I don't like to use it for what it's intended for because there's so many other ways you can use it. This is my last brush of the collection of the Morphe E36. This is a, a smaller one of the dome, it's a littler, but it's great for detail. So I use this for putting my inner highlight in the corner here. I actually use it along my cupid's bow, just there, adding a little highlight. It's great for precision, so it's really nice. Sometimes if I want to add a bit more precise above the brows, or even if you're, if you're into carving out your brows, then it's really good for taking that cream shadow and then using that on the top, or concealer, and using that on the top and the bottom to really get that edge that you want to give a nice harsh brow so it's a really cute little brush for that and it's really nice so that's my review of my 
kind of core collection of the Morphe brushes. And I will tell you the prices now of aloe vera. So we li I live in the UK. So this, the deluxe brush buffer, let's have a look, is $13.99. It's not a bad price, that one. The pointy contour, uh, which is this one, the M438 is $9.99. The Pro Firming Blending Fluff, <laughs> stupid name, is $11.98, so a lot cheaper than the MAC 217. And then the Pro Pointed Blender, that is $7.99, so reasonably priced for, for that one. The Pro um, Firm Blending Crease, that's um, $11.98 as well. So that's a really good price for that particular brush. And the Flat Liner Definer brush was only $3.99. Ah, $3.99. It's a lovely brush. Uh, well, I'm astounded. Great brush. The Round Detail brush, the E18, is that right? Yeah is $5.99 and the little detail crease E36 is $4.99. So really reasonably priced brushes and they really perform well, probably just as good as the big brands that are out there. The only mm, that I have about it is the shipping from United, United States, from America. Um, it was about £28. So when you add that on top and then calculate that in your brushes, they still actually worked out cheaper than a, a MAC brush. Um, but you also had on top of that taxed. I got taxed as well. It's really random, the American tax. I don't quite know how it works, but I got taxed for that, but I didn't get taxed um, for my Kat Von D lipsticks. I don't know how it works, but I was taxed on it. So it was a pretty pricey, but I really wanted to try them. I'm really glad that I tried them and I use them every single day. Um, I use them on my clients and they're just really great brushes. So if you want to really love your brushes and you want to try something new, give this a go. I'm just absolutely convinced that you won't be sorry. I hope you enjoyed my little review of the Morphe brushes and it's given you a little bit of uh, detail and a roundup of how I feel about them um, and don't forget to please give me a big thumbs up if you like the video and to also to click and subscribe it's for free it just shows that when I upload every Sunday a new video will come in your sus subscription box so you won't miss one then and also have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you next week bye